heard the Foreign Secretary say that they want to impose severe sanctions. Well, now is the time. And to be helpful, I think we need to start by heeding the names of those who Alexei Navalny and his team named as key enablers over a year ago. Now, there's a problem outside of this chamber with naming these individuals because many of them have very deep pockets and very expensive lawyers. And the speech from the member for the Isle of Wight, I think, uh, underlined the issues here, and I'm well aware that the minister knows. But I'm going to use my privilege to name them all, Madam Deputy Speaker, all 35, because I think it is important that we have these names, and I've checked it with the clerks I'll, I'll, to reassure uh, you, Madam Deputy Speaker, I've already checked with the clerks, but I'm going to name them all because it is important to do so, and they are Roman Abramovich, yep. Denis Bortnikov, Andrei Kostin, Mikhail Murashko, Dmitry Patrushev, Igor Shuvalov, Vladimir Solovyev, Alisha Uzmanov, Alexander Bastrikin, Alexander Bortnikov, Konstantin Ernst, Viktor Gavrilov, Dmitry Ivanov, Alexander Kalashnikov, Sergei Kirienko, Elena Morozova, Denis Popov, Margarita Simonian, Igor Yanchuk, Viktor Zolotov, Oleg Deripaska, Alexei Miller, Igor Sechin, Gennady uh, yeah. Gennady Timchenko, Nikolai Tokarev, Alexander Beglov, Yuri Chaika, Andrei Kartapolov, Pavel Kreshenikov, Mikhail Mishustin, Ella Pamphilova, Dmitry Peskov, Sergei Sobyanin, Anton Vaino, and finally, Andrei Vorobiev. And I thank the House for the patience while I said it. Some of these names have already been said under privilege before, but it's important, in my view, that all are said. Because lest we forget that while Putin's National Security Council engaged in that sham discussion, a discussion which, by the way, seemed to have been filmed many hours before it actually aired, Navalny is being tried and face potentially another 15 years in prison. And we must be vigilant to any attempt by Putin right now to use this crisis as cover for what is in effect murder of Navalny.